Hey there foodie friends. Uh, today I'm going to do a review on the Farberware, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, deep fryer. Got it for Christmas because when we moved uh, we somehow lost the plug to my current deep fryer which was smaller and a whole different brand and it gave me a chance to get a bigger one. Super affordable. I got it from Walmart and uh, I'm going to go ahead and do some cooking with it. We're going to review it together so stay tuned. So after I unboxed it, uh, this is what I had. You got the lid, super easy to use. It's got a little filter thing in here, which I cannot get open. There's this little tab on it. Just, I'll have to figure it out someday when it needs to be changed, but it, I'm afraid I'm gonna break it. But uh, easy to grab handle. Just the uh, casing on the outside and it does get hot. And it'll warn you in the manual. There's a manual that comes with it. So, and it's in Spanish. I was actually trying to read the Spanish side when I first got it. I was like, wait a minute, what's going on here? And then you notice how the, the pot part has a flat side and a curved side. So you see the sharp edge, flat and a little bit curved here. So it's the same shape as the, uh, the top here or the, the encasement. You just put it in like that. You're done with that. This is the very simple controller. And uh, that just slides on the back here. And I have noticed that it's not easy to line these little slats up. You have to kind of push it in. It's got kind of a handle you can, here it is. And it slides down. And you just wanna make sure, look in there, and make sure that both slats are grabbing. There's two little I don't really, like rails, like rails you have to put it in, okay? So, uh, then you've got different sized baskets. Now, I don't know about you, but when I'm frying something, I usually don't put fries on one side, maybe fish on the other, um, but you've got your two little fryer ones that go on either side. But the reason that this sold me on the idea was one quite large fryer basket. So that's pretty much all I'm gonna use. Each one of them has their own little handle. You just pinch the handle, stick it in there. You'll see these little hooks and holes that you gotta put, make sure it goes through. So with the basket, um, I've seen where some people will already have the basket in the oil and then they'll put their food in. I am not that brave. This is for somebody that also is not that brave with fryers. Um, so what I do is you'll see I'll just leave it out I pre-bread something, whatever it might be. Tonight I'm gonna to do shrimp and just set it in there as is. Give it a little shake. You'll see how I do it to get some of that stuff, uh, the breading off so you don't have a bunch at the bottom here. I'm gonna have my oil in here and then I set it in. So anyway, there's that part. And here's the lid. It goes on next. And now I'm gonna go ahead and fry something. Uh, I normally use peanut oil uh, because it's got a, just a good burn point, good flavor, but I'm learning more about healthy oils and you know refined, blah, blah, blah. but uh, apparently avocado oil, which costs a bit more, uh, but that's better for you if you're gonna go ahead and deep fry. So go ahead and Google that. So stay tuned and I'll uh, get the shrimp together and we'll start cooking. So a couple of things, and I did see this was a complaint before I bought this, but generally everybody's pretty happy with it this cord, and I know they're meant to be short, but it's really short. And I've already put an extension, uh, like a, I brought, there's a plug that's almost on the floor down there, so I had to put this thing on the side just to be able to just reach it. It's designed to be a breakaway in case it gets knocked over or pushed or whatever. Um, also, a neat tip that they give you in the manual, which I didn't know this with my prior one, is you put some oil in this little window, a little viewing window, and that's supposed to keep it from uh, getting condensation where you can't see through it. Because pretty much as soon as you put something in, it just, you can't see through it. So I'm gonna try that and see if that works. Another thing, and I noticed this on my last fryer, whole different model, make, whole thing. The minimum and the maximum line for the oil is quite difficult to see. Like You can't see it now, can you? So, you either have to be in a certain kind of light where you can see, but now you know I can see with the shadowing, minimum and maximum. So you don't want to go over the maximum and you don't want to go under the minimum. So there's that.
Okay, as you can see, I filled it just to the max line. I choose max because your food is gonna eat up a little bit of the oil. And if you're cooking right, it shouldn't be soaking up oil, but it will use up some of it. And uh, so there you go. It's got that green tint because I'm doing the avocado oil for the first time. Uh, we'll see if it's as good as peanut oil, but it's supposed to be better for you. All right, so there you go. Max line, there's the line. There's the word. Hard to see. Okay, so as you see, the power button is lit. The ready button is lit because I've got it to zero. Almost everything cooks on 375. Um, chicken, it says here 365. Fish, 375. I mean, all fritters, 375. Onion rings. I don't know why they just picked those couple of things. But for the most part, you want to fry at 375. I've learned that over the years. So I'm going to go and turn it up. Now that ready light comes off. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and put my shrimp in here. So, like I said, I don't like to... I don't like to plop the food into the oil. Like some people will leave the basket in there, the oil's going crazy, and then they put their food in. Those people are brave. My mother used to do stuff like that in a, in a pan, but I, I'm, I'm too chicken with that, so that's what this is nice about is I just set it here. And uh, I'm gonna wait for it to heat up. Once that ready light is, is lit, we're ready to go. Also, while we're waiting, um, what I did was I used the Walmart shrimp, and if you look at my other videos, I tell you why I love the Walmart shrimp. Uh, normally, I don't like seafood that comes out of Asia. It's just super fishy, sometimes not good. Um, but their shrimp is affordable and really mild and delicious. So what I did was I thawed it out and rinsed them down and then patted them as dry as I could, rolled it around with a little mixture of mayonnaise and mustard, and uh, that makes everything stick to it a bit better. And uh, also in that mayonnaise mustard, I put a little bit of uh, Old Bay and a little bit of, I want to say onion powder and some sugar. You can play with it, put it, whatever you want in there. That's where it, you want that to stick to the meat. Then you go and put it in the breading, which was a concoction of uh, panko breadcrumbs and cornstarch, which is that dry floury stuff that poofs up in your face when you go to put it in the bowl. And you just flop it around in there. I let it sit for at least a few hours to maybe overnight in the fridge, and it helps it stick to the uh, meat better, no matter what the meat is, fish, chicken, whatever. All right, stay tuned. We're still waiting for it to heat up. So here's a little behind the scenes uh, video, barring the husband's iPad. Um, just trying to get better at filming while I'm waiting on this fryer to heat up. And a friend of mine, Danny the Medic, some of you may have heard of him, he said, stop looking at yourself because you're looking to the side and when you're doing videos. So stick something over here. So I stuck this little face here, Danny, and when I'm looking at it, it seems to help. I'm talking to a smiley face. So there's your behind the scenes. ready. Okay guys and gals, here's the moment of truth. The handle here for the cover is nice and cool. I'm gonna set that to the side and because I'm a little bit chicken, because uh, anybody can do this with this type of fryer, I'm gonna keep it in my hand ready to go to cover all this up. I'm gonna slip this down in here and cover it back up. Some people leave it uncovered. Some people have a um, like a little screen that goes over top, which I have too. But you hear that popping? I don't want any of that stuff popping out. So let's see what happens. I did put the oil on the inside of the window, but you can't see through it. No, you really can't. So you're just still going to have to pop it open once in a while and look at it. This is popping pretty good too because it's shrimp is still pretty wet. I tried to squeeze it and dry it out, but the drier your food, the better before you put it in. And if it's frozen, they say to be careful. You can either put it in slowly or um, maybe just make sure it's dry enough that the ice crystals are off of it, and then you can put it in there frozen. Okay, 
Okay, so as you see, I uncovered it. I went ahead and turned it all the way down because it was popping quite a bit. But look at that. I just took a look. I don't like my shrimp overcooked. And I believe that's just perfect. So I'm gonna put it on the drying rack. Can't go anywhere that way. And do my next batch. So uh, I'm not gonna bore you with the next batch, but uh, let me tell you about the things I like and don't like here in just a minute. Stay tuned. Okay, so it looks like it turned out really good and I'm getting ready to try it for y'all, but take a look. A close up, yummy. So let's take a bite, see how it is. Now that it's cooled down, yum. Oh my God, please. Look at that, there you are. Look at that, yum yum. It's very good. All right, so there's my review on this fryer that I absolutely love and uh, give it a try. Uh, again, I'm gonna verify what the price was. I'm gonna say it was only about $40 but I'll double check that. Okay, so what I like about it the most is the ease of use. It has a cover so you can safely fry. What I don't like is that really short cord. That was the biggest complaint about it. But overall, this is a great fryer. So pull up a chair, there's plenty for everybody. Get your favorite dipping sauce. And if you like this video, maybe hit the like button or maybe even subscribe. And thanks so much for watching.